How's it going everyone? My name's Alex and welcome to Mountain Label Music and in today's video we're going to go over Cali Audio's immersive bundle that is currently sold on Sweetwater.com. Now first thing I want to get out of the way is that this video is not sponsored. Not by Sweetwater, not by Cali Audio, not by anyone. And even if this video was sponsored, I would not recommend any product that I wouldn't use myself. So just take that into consideration that any video that I have on my channel, whether it's sponsored or not, I would not go out of my way to just say it because someone told me to and paid me money for it. But anyways, now that that's out of the way, let's get right into the details. Now, before we go into the specs and the fine details about the immersive bundle that Sweetwater has on their website, let's go into figure out and see who exactly Cali Audio is. Because it seems like when I've brought up my immersive system, nobody nobody really knows who Cali Audio is. I'm just going to read this on their about page that Cali Audio is a manufacturer of best in class audio products of the professional audio market. And they were started in January of 2018 by some of the professional audio industry's most passionate individuals and that they were the forefront to make loudspeakers and related products that present the best possible value to their customers. I also want to note if you haven't caught it by the name that they are out of Burbank, California, which is a historic audio district, which I think is kind of cool because for the fact that they're named Cali Audio, they actually named their products after various cities and towns located in California. Now, even if you don't go and buy any Cali Audio products, whether it be from Sweetwater or from them directly, I highly recommend you go check out their Instagram page because they have honest reviews and they give up to date details on new products which they've been releasing more of recently, which is awesome. I love seeing the, the products that they release because they appeal to an audience that I never know or I never knew that existed or especially for the price point on their products for how high quality they are giving for their price. It's just super cool. Go follow them on Instagram. This is their tag and yeah. Now let's go into detail about the bundle. Cali Audio's 7.1.4 immersive audio system comes with 11 satellite speakers, seven of which are 8-inch speakers, and four of which are 5-inch, and two subwoofers. Now, at the time in which I made my purchase of my immersive bundle, they had an option for a 12-inch, which was the WS-12 subwoofer, and it seems like that's one thing they got rid of on the Sweetwater website for some reason. I'm not sure why this is. I highly recommend it. But now instead of that, they have what is called the WS 6.2, which I think is a six and a half inch dual driver subwoofer, which I'll go more into detail in a second about the different specs between all the speakers and subwoofers. But I just wanted to note that it's going to be a different setup than what I currently have. And I'll repeatedly mention that throughout the video to clarify what I use versus what Sweetwater currently has. Another thing to note at the timing of this video on November 1st, 2023, is that in this bundle, they actually include the mounting hardware, which only included the wall mounts and nothing to actually attach the speakers to the wall mounts, which to me was kind of crazy. And I don't know if this was Sweetwater's fault or Cali Audio's, but I'm really glad they, they fixed it. It was just one less step that people buying the product nowadays have to do. Now that we know exactly what we're getting in this bundle, let's go over the specifications between the speakers and subwoofers. First off, we have seven IN8s or Independence 8s as they call on their website. The four IN5s, two WS 6.2s, and what is currently in my setup is two WS 12s. Let's start off with the IN 8s. We have a max SPL or speaker pressure level of 117 decibels with a frequency range of 45 hertz and a frequency response of 37 hertz. In the IN 5s, we have 115 decibels of SPL. 47 hertz on frequency range and 39 hertz for frequency response. For the WS 6.2s, we have a whopping 120 decibels of SPL and a frequency range of 31.5 and a frequency response of 27 hertz. And for the WS 12s, we have a ridiculous decibel reading of 123 max SPL with a very low end range 
of 30 hertz and a very, very low frequency response of 23 hertz. Now, even in my setup, I don't get that loud in my studio, but that's just to ensure that your speakers are loud enough for the calibration process, which you have to reach to a certain decibel level. And speaking of calibration, let's go into the details about what DSP settings all of these speakers and subwoofers have included before any software or internal hardware calibration. Each of the satellite speakers have various room tuning capabilities, depending on how far away you are from your wall or if you're setting your speakers sideways. You also have a high frequency and low frequency trim of I think it's plus three and minus three decibels, which can be really helpful if you don't have extensive capabilities within your interface or a certain software you use for room tuning. And in the subwoofers, you have like three different bands for crossover frequencies. So let's say if you are just working in a stereo setup, you can use the subwoofers for basic bass management. If you're not happy with the low end that the IN8s provide, you can actually set down to, I think it's a 60 hertz crossover up to even 120, which to me is ridiculous because a lot of subwoofers don't even have that capability. You can also flip some switches to adjust the phase. You also have some knobs on all the speakers to adjust your own volume, which I don't recommend doing. I, I would set everything evenly across the board, but you have that capability regardless. And while I know if you're working in Adobe Atmos Studio, you're most likely probably going to have an interface or some kind of software that does some kind of room tuning. But even if you don't, you have a lot of capability and a lot of different options to choose from. And even though I have an audio interface that actually does have speaker calibration, I still use one DSP setting within all of my Cali, Cali Audio satellite speakers. And that is the fact you can put them sideways, which in a lot of speakers nowadays, you you can't do because of the way the speaker and the tweeter are set up, or I should say the woofer and the tweeter. And the reason you are able to do this is because these speakers are actually three way rather than just having two drivers, you have three drivers and that is the tweeter, the mid driver and the woofer. And between the tweeter and the mid driver, they are coaxial. I think is that's how you pronounce it. They are coaxial to each other, meaning, they align perfectly in phase in whatever orientation you wish them to be in, which also gives you a better center point for a, a wider stereo image, which sounds more crisp and just gives you a better detail on what your music actually sounds like when you're mixing. And actually when I had the main woofer on the bottom, my seating position was just a little too low with the seat I currently have. For the stands I have also that are non-adjustable, it didn't quite sound right, and then when I figured out you could actually turn them on the side, it dramatically changed the difference in sound. It actually sounded way better. And then I also found out that the DSP settings allowed you to tune accordingly to that sideways position. And now I feel like I don't even have to calibrate my Atmos setup because it just sounds so damn good. Now, although I will be doing some kind of room tuning later on, and I will be doing a video on that, I think I mentioned that before with my Avid Matrix Studio review, but for the fact that you're getting a three-way speaker for the price at which you would pay a two-way speaker by Focal or Genelec, it's just crazy cool. And speaking of other branded speakers, for the price you're paying for this immersive bundle compared to anything else on the market, is just bizarre how they were able to fit it into this kind of budget range. Now, as of today, again, November 1st, 2023, you are looking at about $7,000 for a 7.1.4 Cali Audio Immersive Bundle. And you might be thinking to yourself, Alex, that's a lot of money. And yes, it is a lot of money and Dolby Atmos is still really new, which explains why speaker manufacturers are charging a lot because they're, they're trying to invest more money into technology that can better fit for budgets, not only, but you're also getting a lot of good features for the quality of these studio monitors. And if you compare them to other brands like Focal and Atom Audio, Genelec, you're spending between 7,000 more or 10,000 more dollars just to get, really, you're, you're still getting a great speaker system, but for the quality, especially for beginner artists, or I should say mixing engineers and producers, to me, if you want to future proof your setup and 
have a speaker system that's great and does the job correctly, and you spend just as much on a great audio interface and stands and everything, why would you need to spend, good Lord, $75,000 for a setup that will probably sound just as good in the same room. Now again, that's just my opinion. I haven't listened to a $75,000 Atmos Studio setup, and I'm sure it's really good. It'll probably blow me out of the water comp compared to my studio setup. But to me, at the, this price range, compared to any other studio monitor on the market, this takes the ticket. All right, now that we have an idea of my studio monitor setup and what I actually recommend for you guys, especially people starting out with a home studio, I highly recommend you check out this video, which is my review about the Avid Matrix Studio, which again, in my opinion, is the best, hands down, the best Dolby Atmos audio interface. And I go into detail on why I think that is in this video. You guys should check it out and check out my other videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.